we spoke about the Pope's visit to Iraq. And of course, the old name for Iraq is Babylon. And in Christian eschatology, Babylon is associated with the whore of Babylon and the beast that will emerge at the end times along with the Antichrist. So Babylon often has very negative connotations and at the time of the Kingdom of Israel, Babylon referred to anywhere outside that kingdom, kind of like the expression beyond the pale, which of course comes from when the English ruled Dublin and they were trying to conquer the whole of Ireland, Dublin and the surrounding area was known as the Pale and anywhere beyond the Pale was where the primitive, uncivilised native Irish were living. So this idea of Babylon being some kind of dark, evil place goes way back to the time of the Bible and it's a term that has been used by the Rastafari movement and the Rastafarians consider Zion, their holy land, uh, to be Africa and everywhere outside of Africa is regarded as Babylon and is regarded as being inhabited by the enemy. So what was the Pope doing in Babylon or Iraq? We said he was calling for an end to extremism, but maybe he was looking for the whore of Babylon. Maybe he is the Antichrist. The Pope remained calm, clearly anticipating the heckler in the back row. Mr Paisley quoted a 16th century anti-papist slogan as furious Euro MPs threw papers at him in disgust. I denounce you as the Antichrist. And that was not this Pope. That was, of course, a different Pope. That was Pope John Paul II. So the Reverend Ian Paisley must have been wrong then, mustn't he? John Paul II wasn't the Antichrist. Maybe this current Pope is. Or are there more than one Antichrist? Will there be many false Christs, false messiahs? Christ, of course, being the Greek version of the word Messiah. It's a direct translation. And for Christians, Jesus Christ uh, is the Messiah. And for the people of the Jewish faith, they are still waiting for their Messiah. But were there any other messiahs? Was Jesus the only messiah? What you want to ask the missionary is about this word messiah. Ask him. Jesus was the messiah, but were there any other messiahs besides Jesus? Now you find out how well he knows his Bible, because there were many. David, Solomon, even Cyrus the Persian were called messiah. It's hard to find that in the Bible because the translators cover it over. They translate the word. Messiah means anointed, somebody picked to do a job, somebody single out said, you are the one. Every king of ancient Israel was called Messiah. Now the name doesn't look quite so special anymore. It is a title, but it does not particularly elevate to some divine status. 